So um, let's start off with um, kind of another core philosophy, I think, to getting to them past the I'm done philosophy uh, or the I've done sort of thought process of kids uh, is, are you doing your brainstorming right? Um, if, if you're coming around and the kids are trying to come up with an, an idea, that's my favorite thing, an idea. I'm like, dude, I don't want an idea. I want 40. I want 40. I don't want just one. I want 40 ideas of something, 40 variations of it. And so I want just tons of ideas. I want you to sit and just create for a while until you run totally out of gas and then you step away from it. So, um, and you see this book called, Hey, Mr. Whipple, Squeeze This. It's a great book. If you really, uh, it, I've been kind of teaching this, read that, gave me some great, wonderful things to sort of feed what I was already teaching. And uh, it's a, built for ad execs or ad advertising, but it's still just great application for yearbook and newspaper and whatever. Um, but the first and foremost, you have to get across this idea of not to analyze or judge anything. I mean, there has to be a ground rule among staff members that you're not going to, you know, analyze those. And, and you'll hear them. Kids will start doing it. <clears throat> you have to correct them. You have to say, hey, 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 remember, just write it. Just write it down. And so um, I, I see it all the time. You've been in those groups when it's just you. Um, and or see so you're brainstorming with somebody and somebody are like, yeah, that idea is nah, that one kind of sucks. And when that happens in those groups, what do you do? I know I do. I shut down. I'm like, all right, done. You know? And so we just have that fundamental belief that you just you just write them down. And if you sit there and try to explain them or you try to do a lot of things, you slow yourself down. And another thing is to write down even the most bizarre ones. Um I, I, I have the, you know, you've known me, if you've come to hear, heard me anything, you know that I've, I've, this is my analogy. Uh, but it's like if I had this, if I came to you and I'm like, dude, I said, you should make sure you see me for this. Um, I was like, dude, I have this wonderful idea for you. Um, I've got this movie idea that um, there, there are these going to be these little people. And then there's me, this girl, and she's going to uh, sing and she's going to, we're going to build this brick road and she's going to walk on it. And then there's this, um, and then these monkeys and they're going to fly. And there's going to be this old green woman and you're going to sit here and think, dude, what kind of drugs are you on? And you're going to be thinking, no, what are we talking about? Most iconic movie of a generation. What is it? Yep. Wizard of Oz. Okay. Think about it. The most iconic movie of a generation. So it's like that whole idea of it would have gone away. You would have never have heard of Wizard of Oz if somebody would killed it because it does such sound such a such a bizarre movie. Um, and the reality is, you know, it's one of the only movies we remember from the 1930s. Um, so yeah, so write down even the most bizarre ideas. You just never know where that's going to go. Um, ride hot, edit cold. Just get it down. Um, Let's get that off there. So yeah, build on each other's ideas. You know, I love this when I can sit around and brainstorm with somebody and we're just going, we're just riffing. And um, that should be part of it. But the one thing you have to do is, um, you know, you have to get them past that first level of creativity. I, I give them this. I tell them all the time. I say, look, if you're a basketball player and you find the basketball player in the ring, you're like, you're shooting, shooting, shooting. You're hitting brick after brick after brick after brick. And I know it never happens, okay? And all of a sudden you hit one. You're like, you walk off the court? You know? You don't. You get in that kind of mode and then you get on a rhythm. You get in a rhythm. You get on a roll. I think the same is true of you know, creativity and brainstorming. So, you know, it's it's easy to sit around and, you know, rip off somebody else's ideas and, and staffs do it all the time. And I get you want inspiration, but you really have to make it yours. You can't just sort of rip off somebody else's idea. And I believe you don't want to teach that. Not that, like I said, you can't be inspired. You can't sort of take some concept or some what people are doing and make it your own. Um, but you have to be careful and we're not we don't want to teach the whole idea of something that's going to get them sued later in life that's what i always say um you know there's got milk it's like you see a lot of t-shirts and like stuco t-shirts where they used to be ripped off of got milk or you know some other concept that's the latest fad that you know 
if they were a big organization, they get cease and desist letters from Got Milk, you know, from the milk producers, um, just because they're not going to deal with it. It's their concept. So first level creativity does exist, and you really um, have to fight to get them past it. And I always say this. This is another thing you've probably seen me show. But if you don't believe it exists, I give you the big eye movie posters. <laughs> you see all the different ones where it's just one big eye. It's the sci-fi, it's the thriller, it's those that how many people use the same concept over and over and over? Or the guy running down the street. <laughs> it's like it's like the poster movie posters that you know, it's like they get a idea and they just do the same thing. So I try to show kids this to understand that maybe the first idea they come up with, probably not their best one, because it's odds are somebody else has it, the back to back relationship so that somebody else, you know, that somebody else has that. So those are cliches for the most part um, that you have uh, if you don't really work past, you know, the first idea. <clears throat> 